Welcome to this short presentation of the 2D rerun course planning module. What you do to start is just to drag any map over onto the browser and the map is loaded. Nothing is uploaded to the server, so you're completely safe to use this for any event which has not been organized yet. Uh, the first thing to do is to set the scale and the DPI. The scale is in this case 1 to 3000 in my export from OCAD. The DPI is 600. The next step is to uh, draw the course. I uh, have in the works a local version where I can import the course from OCAD, but for now you have to draw it. So uh, we draw the course here. And you also see that we have the course length over here. So if you see that the course length is different than uh, what it was in OCAD and what you, or what you know it is, what it is, you can go back under load map and change the DPI to the correct value and adapt until you have the correct course length. I can show briefly how that is done. So if you set here DPI, DPI to 500, you see that the course length is now 402 meters. So, but I know that it's 600, so, so I'm fine with that. So now we have set a course and uh, we have loaded the map. So the next step is to draw the route choices. Uh, so we have three legs. We start with leg number one. Uh, I choose not to show the course, so I say no here because uh, I use the same course as is already on the map. If you use a blank map or if you change the course a bit in the course setting process, then it's nice to show the course. But for now I will just uh, draw the alternatives. All you have to do is to, to click the mouse along the, uh, the alternatives and uh, you see the how many meters it's long and uh, when I get to the last point I double click and uh, I have um, an alternative here. I go back continue with uh, another alternative and you see it's it's very easy to get up uh, the length for, uh, for the alternatives. Um, I can just take a, a third alternative as well. So here we have three alternatives for the first control. Then I go to the next leg, the same way. I just go through making uh, uh, two root choices for each uh, leg. I will not complete everything here, but just to have uh, something to, to work on in, in the following. This map is from, uh, from Bergen Sprint Camp, where we have used this tool uh, a lot, both in the core setting and later in, in the analysis. So the, the third leg, let's say we can go, uh, go down here. This is probably the, the best route choice on, uh, on this leg. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, of course go go this way, but this will lose you a little bit of time, as far as I remember. You can check the length now, of course. You see, it's all it's also longer, 20 meters longer. Okay, so now I uh, use this set names and colors, and this gives me. The each variant named as A, B, and C for uh, each of my my three legs. Yeah, we we can draw it to the to the finish as well. So we have a complete course set. Okay, so we have a complete course. I do a new set names and colors. Uh, we maybe want to have the line width a bit wider. We want the map to be toned a bit down and maybe to see a bit more through the line and uh, a bit larger font size. So there we are. Okay, going back to the first, I usually try to, to uh, move these to a bit better position. Uh, you hold the Alt key by moving the mouse, very simple. Next, like this. Next, like this. And like this. So, there we are. 
now I uh, I can export this as an image uh, down here then I typically change the, the browser width but for now I just click to save JPEG and I have saved uh, this one and uh, the same way I save the next save the next and save the next so now I have saved one image for each for each leg very simply um, so this was one uh, one demo now let's let's say I uh, I think that this uh, second control is maybe not perfectly placed now I can go down here I show the course again then I go in uh, in course setting mode in course drawing mode and I simply move it to, to some other place where I which I think could be could be better so I move it over here now when I go over to draw root choices again and uh, I go to my second leg nothing is shown because he shows uh, the roots from this control to, to this control and there is no root ending at control number two so now I have to say show all and it looks a bit complicated I can now click T and get all the roots which end or start at this control T again for this one so now I have the two I was interested in if I now uh, click shift on this A with uh, the mouse I can edit uh, the, the control and uh, I can now draw a root going over here um, so now I have a new a new root here I can do the same with the B to remove a point I hit shift and click the mouse it's all given in the instructions up here so uh, now I have a, a different leg where left is significantly shorter and I can also now draw another alternative which which might be more interesting with the new placement of, uh, of the leg which is now only 106 meters long so uh, this is the way we, we usually have worked when uh, when making a course we we uh, export the course from from OCAD. We uh, we do some changes based on uh, the lengths we see, and, uh, and then we converge to what what something which uh, which we like. So uh, <coughs> this is the the simple part. Now I go back to showing only the selected leg, and we see here only the selected leg. Um, now uh, usually you want to save your work in some way and uh, there are two possibilities to, to save and load your data in uh, the 2D rerun course planning module. You can either save it internally, internally in your browser that means that uh, you can only use it on this specific computer you cannot send it to somebody else. If I hit save internally in uh, browser here I uh, move this control back here I go back and, and load it from browser. You see that now I have got back my, my old one. So uh, so now I in this way you can simply save something in a browser and load it back later on. If you want to send this to somebody else, you have to save to file instead. And when you save to file, uh, a JSON file is simply saved. Uh, if you use the Chrome browser, and you should use the Chrome browser because with other browsers the saving doesn't work as far as I know. So if you want to load it again, you uh, you need to load the same file over uh, over again, and now it's probably in D download ESC Turbo A. 600 JSON. So now I loaded it back the same uh, the same way. Okay, so I think that was all. Thanks for uh, for following these instructions and uh, please ask if something doesn't work as you uh, you expect. Thank you very much.